Kangar Gata National Park, also called Kangar Valley National Park, was declared a national park in 1982 by the government of India. Among the various protected areas in the country, the Kangar Valley National Park near Jagdalpur, in the Bastar region of Chhattisgarh, is one of the densest national parks, well known for its biodiversity, landscape, waterfalls, subterranean geomorphologic limestone caves, and home for the Bastar hill mina, the state bird of Chhattisgarh. Located amidst the 34 km long scenic Kangar Valley, a biosphere reserve, Kangar Valley National Park is one of the most picturesque national parks of India. Spread over an area of approximately 200 square kilometers, 77 square miles, consisting mainly of hilly terrain, the park derives its name from the Kangar River, which flows throughout its length. The Kangar Valley National Park is noted for its highly heterogeneous land formations ranging from low flat and gentle areas to steep slopes, plateaus, valleys and stream courses. The vast undulating terrain of the Kangar Valley National Park harbors diverse habitats which offer an ideal site for diverse kinds of flora and fauna, thus making it a hotspot of biodiversity in central India. The park also has a sizable tribal population and is an ideal destination for wildlife enthusiasts, nature lovers, researchers, anthropologists and for anyone who wants to discover the very best of Chhattisgarh wildlife and unique tribes of the region. Coordinates and area of the park The location and area of the park can be seen on the map of the region. The national park lies within the following geographical coordinates Latitude, 18 degrees 45 00 N to 18 degrees 56 minutes 30 seconds N Longitude, 81 degrees 51 30 E to 82 degrees 10 00 Eth total area of the national park is 200.00 square kilometers, 77.22 square miles. The valley starting from the Tirathgarh waterfalls to the Kolab River, Odisha state boundary, is nearly 33.5 kilometers, 20.8 miles long and the average width is about 6 kilometers, 3. 7 miles. Topic: <laughs> Flora and fauna in the park. topic flora The flora in the park consists chiefly of mixed moist deciduous type of forests with predominance of sal, teak and bamboo trees. In fact, the Kangar Valley is the only region in the peninsular India where one of the last pockets of virgin and untouched forests are still left. According to the survey done by the Botanical Survey of India and other research organizations, the national park has 553 floral species out of which 12 species are new to Chhattisgarh, 43 species are reported rare. Floral diversity includes in situ gene bank of medicinal plants, grasses, climbers, wild sugarcane, canes, ferns, epiphytes, sal, teak, bamboo and their rich associates. Fauna Major wildlife of the Kangar Valley National Park are tigers, leopards, mouse deer, wild cat, chital, sambar, barking deer, jackals, langurs, rhesus macaque, sloth bear, flying squirrel, wild boar, striped hyena, rabbits, pythons, cobra, crocodiles, monitor lizards and snakes. The avian fauna at the park includes hill mina, spotted owlet, red jungle fowl, racket-tailed drongos, peacocks, parrots, steppe eagles, red spur fowl, pakta, bura teeter, tree pie and heron among many others. A few tributaries form marshy land in early dry season due to natural seepage. Ekta Jodi, Kyam Nulla, Karanja Jodi, Rajamunda, Punji Jodi, Kamkal Jodi forms good marshy areas which are good habitat of wild boar and sloth bear. Chital, barking deer, and panther are mainly found in this marshy area. Karia Ama Nala is a perennial marshy belt and is ideal habitat for the wild boar, sloth bear, chital, leopard and tiger. The fauna that have been recorded in the national park include 49 species of mammals 144 species of birds 16 species of amphibians 37 species of reptiles 56 species of fish 91 species of butterflies 
26 species of moths 113 species of spiders topic <laughs> human settlements in the park and adjoining areas The national park comprises two ranges viz. Katamsar and Kalang ranges. The Katamsar range, forming the western half on the park is dotted with revenue villages on its boundary and there is hardly any forest area outside the park for fuel wood, small wood, bamboo and other non-timber forest produce. So the zone of influence ZL for people in this range is 10 km. The Kalang Range forming the eastern half of the park has a lesser number of villages on its boundary and is comparatively free from biotic pressure. So in the central portion zone of influence is 10 km and on eastern boundary it is 5 km. Altogether there are 48 villages within 5 km radius of national park boundary and only one forest village is inside the national park. Geology, rock, soil and terrain The National Park has remarkable geological diversity. The National Park has mainly cut up a group of rock formation and at some places Vindian group of rock formation. Shales are the common rock formation of cut up a group, which are horizontally bedded, at many places calcareous, the other rock formation is slate. In the northwestern part i.e. Tirithgar, Kamanar, Katamsar there is outcrop of limestone, sandstone, quartzite and laterites. In northern middle part form Nagalsar to Radhanaras at many places limestone is well exposed and outcrops of quartzite and laterites. Limestone caves of Katamsar, Dandak, Devgiri, and Kalash are present in this part. In the northeastern part from Pulcha to Kolab River, rock is shale and some quartzite with outcrops of granite. In the southeastern part, rock is a Vindian group mainly granite and sandstone. At few places granite and mica are also present. In the southern middle part, rock is of Kadapa group of quartzite and granite. At many places mica schist are present. Shale and sandstone have also outcropped. In the southeastern part, rock is primarily of Kadapa group of granite, shale, slate, sandstone and occasional quartzite outcrop. On slopes laterites are present. At some places Vindian group of rock are also present. Topic: <inaudible> Soil. Poor and rocky soil is found on the hill tops and slopes. Recent deposits are alluvial soils, high and low level laterites and ferruginous conglomerates. The soils are yellowish brown, brownish red, reddish and brown in color and mostly residual in nature. These soils are loamy, sandy and lateritic in nature. The thickness of soil varies from 4 to 6 feet. The soil is slightly acidic with pH value ranging from 5.3 to 7.0. <laughs> <laughs> Terrain The park is Valley of Kangar River. The river flows from NW to SE direction centrally through deep gorges. Both sides of the valley are very steep and are associated with hill ranges. The entire park area is hilly. The eastern half portion is very hilly, the western half is comparatively less hilly. There are small plateaus interspersed with hills. The entire park is full of seasonal nullahs and these nullahs join Kangar River from both sides. Major tributaries of Kangar River from north are Dermunda Nulla, Champal Nala, Kala Jodi, Mama Bancha Nala, Jaraha Nala, Matkal Jodi, Kodri Bihar Nala, Musari Nala, Karanj Jodi, Baid Beta Nala, Duding Jodi. Major tributaries joining Kangar from south are Munga Bihar Nala, Ekta Jodi, Karanjal Jodi, Raja Munda Nala, Kyam Nala, Punji Jodi, Kataguda Nala, Kamkal Jodi, Koping Nala. The altitude of the park varies from 338 to 781 meters, 1109 to 2562 feet above mean sea level. Terrain on northeastern, eastern and southeastern sides is very hilly, steep, high and quite difficult for human intrusion. Kolab River on the eastern border is very rocky with dens and is difficult for human intrusion. The National Park is well known for the presence of subterranean limestone caves with dripstones and flowstones The formations of stalactites and stalagmites are still growing. The caves in the National Park provide shelter for various species of wildlife. 
The caves in the national park are inhabited by leopards, porcupines, hyenas, bears, bats, fishes, snakes, frogs, crickets etc. The overhangs are mostly found in the western part and eastern portion near Kolab River of the national park which provide a good habitat for honeybees especially the rock bees. Dens are found on the rocky portions of the national park where wild dogs doles, jackals, wolves, foxes, mongoose, etc. occupy them for shelter and breeding. Cliffs are present in Tirithgar waterfall area and in the western portion of the national park along the Kangar River and Kolab River. They provide ideal habitat for bats, eagles, pigeons, swifts and some reptile species. The bouldery drainages can be seen at Tirithgar waterfall region, Kangar Dara and at points where the Kangar River flows from steep height. Sand banks are observed along the Kangar River especially at points where the Kangar River takes a curve. Sand banks are seen at Bainsaydarha located on the eastern portion of the national park where mugger crocodiles Crocodilus palustris use it for basking purposes. Smooth Indian otters are also found using this habitat. Topic: <laughs> Kangar River. Kangar River is among one of very few perennial rivers of Bastar and herein lies the importance of the river and the park. Kangar River is a lifeline and hills are its recharging reservoir. The whole national park is the catchment of Godavari River. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Limestone Caves. The Kangar Valley National Park has huge limestone deposits where some of them are in the form of caves and the rest of it are in the form of layers or beds one upon the other. These deposits are present above the soil as well as under the ground level. The underground portions form the caves. The National Park is very famous for the long subterranean geomorphological limestone caves and is a major tourist attraction in the region. All limestone caves are present north of Kangar River between Madarkanta and Kodri Bihar. These are Katamsar Cave, Kalash Cave, Dandak Cave, Devgiri Cave. Many other caves were also discovered in the National Park. These caves have very fine structures of dripstones i.e. stalactites and stalagmites. Chemically these formations are recrystallized calcium carbonate. These structures have taken million of years to form. Katamsar and Kalash caves are open for tourists and other caves are closed for tourists. Only those caves which have openings have been discovered in the national park. There are many caves which have no opening and they are yet to be discovered. Places to visit As approaches to most of the places do not have proper signages guiding movements and it being largely a virgin area, one should visit these places with assistance and under guidance of the local inhabitants. The routes prescribed for tourism in the national park as follows Katamsar Barrier to Katamsar 5 km. Katamsar Barrier to Kangar Dara 7 km. Katamsar Barrier to Katamsar Cave 10 km. Tirithgar Barrier to Tirithgar Waterfalls 7 km. Netner Barrier to Kalash Cave 5 km. Nature Trail from Commander Barrier to Tirithgar Waterfalls 3.0 km. Nature Trail from Kalash Cave to Kalash Zeal 1. 5 km. Topic: Tirithgar Waterfalls Tirithgar waterfalls can be termed as Milky Fall because of the white color of the water as it descends down the rocky slope giving an impression as if milk is falling. It is located around 38 km from Jagdalpur in the renowned eco-tourism site of Kangar Valley National Park. The Tirithgar Falls is one of the most visited waterfalls in Chhattisgarh. Water cascading from the hills surrounding the falls provides splendid views. Splashing streams of water come down at speed from a height of more than 100 feet on the river Mugabahar which originates in a lake not very far away from this point. The area surrounding the fall features green forests, the water flowing through the various streams and crossing numerous paths along the way in a zigzag manner and finally ending up in the falls as a treat to watch. Besides the natural environment associated with this place, Tirithgar Falls is also an important religious place featuring a temple which is dedicated to Shiva Parvati. 
Every year, thousands of tourists and devotees come here from within the state and across India for the views of Tirathgarh Falls as well as to offer prayers at the temple. The best season to visit this place is in the months of October through February. Kodamsar Caves Kodamsar Caves are situated at a distance of about 40 km 25 miles from Jagdalpur. Kodamsar Caves are about 35 meters below ground level and around 1,371 meters long. Kodamsar Cave is a subterranean limestone cave located near the banks of Kangar River in the western portion of the national park. It was discovered by the local people around year 1900 and explored by a renowned geographer Sri Sankar Tiwari in 1951 and it is one of the best known caves in Chhattisgarh as well as in India. The floor of the cave consists of soil, clay, pebbles, rocks and water pools with several lateral and downward passages. Perpetual darkness and constant temperature 28 degrees Celsius plus 1 degree Celsius prevails inside the cave. For entry into the cave, cement concrete steps, steel steps and railings are available near the entrance side. These caves have got the distinction of being India's first most biologically explored cave. As they are underground, there is pitch darkness inside. It features stalactite and stalagmite formations. Entry to the caves is through the narrow stairs and visitors have to pass through tall, narrow chambers for gaining access to the main hall that features superb acoustics. The caves feature five chambers having several blind wells. Lots of tribal tales are also associated with it and are also known as Gupanpal or Kutamsar caves. The stalactites found inside the cave have been an interesting research topic for scientists and even arouse the curiosity among the visitors. Kotamsar cave harbors a variety of fauna like bats, frogs, snakes, crickets, spiders, fishes, millipedes, etc. Fishes and frogs are found in the ditches of the cave whereas bats, spiders, crickets are found on the ceilings and walls of the cave. Dr. Jayant Biswas has well documented the biology of the cave organisms living in Kodamsar Cave. There is lack of oxygen when going deep into the caves. In view of which, for safety reasons, entry beyond certain points has been restricted. The cave is closed from 15 June to 31 October during rainy season. The cave needs removal of debris before tourist season. Topic: <laughs> Kalash Caves. Kalash Caves are located in the Kangar Valley National Park area near Makulwada. The caves are located around 40 kilometers from Jagdalpur. Discovered recently in 1993, the caves are around 250 meters long and are situated at an altitude of 40 meters above the ground level. It features stalactite and stalagmite formations that offer stunning sight. Access to the cave is through a narrow opening and at the end of the cave is a huge stalagmite formation in the shape of Shivlinga. The hollow walls of the cave, when struck by hand, make incredible musical sounds. Topic. Bain Sadarha It is located at a distance of 65 km from Jagdalpur. Kangar River is full of deep gorges so darha water pools maintain very hygienic quality of water. Crocodiles are mainly found in these darhas. One of the famous ones is Bain Sadarha. It is surrounded by mountains with thick greenery from all sides. The watch tower situated at Bain Sadarha gives an awesome view of lake. Bain Sadarha Lake has crocodiles and tortoises. It takes a drive of about two hours to reach Bain Sadarha. The best time to visit is during winter season. Remember during rainy season roads are closed. It is risky to travel by bike as roads are not good. It is a dense forest so if a vehicle gets punctured then no one will be there to help you. Also no mobile coverage. So you are trapped. Always prefer four-wheeler especially going with family. Kangar Dara Kangar Dara is located inside the Kangar Valley National Park, 36 km from Jagdalpur. For reaching Kangar Dara, one should get the applicable permission and tickets from the district forest office located at the entry to the park. It is a picnic spot where individuals and families alike spend time. 
Small cascading falls give visitors enough space to take a bath. The best season for visiting the park is from winters up to summers, after which the park closes for the tourist from the beginning of monsoons in the month of July. Being in the laps of Kangar Valley, Kangar Dara waterfalls is actually produced by the Kangar River due to presence of undulating rocks present there. Geologists suggest that the area was a sedimentary terrain, later intruded by igneous rock bodies, due to which, the area has got such folded structures. Just at the beginning of the downstream of Kangar River, when the river falls from undulating folded rocks, it presents a view of small cascades of waterfall, which forms the Kangar Dara. <laughs> Dandak Cave Similar to Kotamsur Cave, one can see the stalactites and stalagmites in fantastic formations. Best season to visit The best season to visit the Kangar Valley is November to June. Topic how to reach the park Kangar Valley is well approachable from Jagdalpur in the Chhattisgarh state of India as can be seen on the road network map of the area. Entry into the national park is permitted form Netanur and Katamsar barriers. Netanur barrier is situated at 33 km from Jagdalpur on the road passing through village Sargapal, Bodal, Murma, and Netanur. The park starts after 3 km from the Netanur barrier. Main entry of the park is from Katamsar Barrier situated at 27 km from Jagdalpur on the Jagdalpur Darba Road i.e. NH 221 connecting Jagdalpur to Vijayawada in Andhra Pradesh. Inside the park there is good network of Muram and Kutcha roads. Raipur 330 km is the nearest airport and Jagdalpur 27 km is the nearest railhead and bus stand from the Kangar Valley National Park. Rest houses, hotels, lodges, and resorts of good quality are available for lodging at Jagdalpur. Inside the park, forest rest houses at Katamsar and Tirathgar are available. The nearest petrol pump is at Jagdalpur. Forest wireless system is at Tirathgar and Netanur. <laughs> Image gallery See also Cave research in India National Parks of India Indravati National Park Jagdalpur Tourism in Chhattisgarh Tamda Goomer Chitrakote Falls Kotamsur Cave Mendri Goomer Indravati National Park Danteshwari Temple